So as you can see, the FC's back home again and in one piece. But before we get stuck into the new footage, I thought I'd do a recap on what's happened to the car since I've got it, leading up to where we are now. When I bought the car, it came with a ticket to the Rotary RE Union event held in Taupo each year. It was a pretty wet day, but we had a lot of fun with the car all the same. What the bad weather did tell me was that there was pretty bad visibility out of the car, mostly due to the tinted windows. They were getting pretty old and in a pretty bad state anyway, so I decided to pull them out. Didn't really do much research in terms of technique, so I cracked it the only way I knew how the heat gun and some dissolvent spray. Once the tints were gone, I got to work removing the stickers. Before I was looking down the barrel of a rebuild, I was chasing reliability issues, starting with cooling. Looking back at all this footage, the signs were there pretty early that the car needed a rebuild. Hindsight's a bitch. I enjoyed driving the car around for a little while, even with the issues. I really needed a benchmark to figure out if it was actually improving anything. So I was lucky enough to have old mate Seamus lend me his hand controller for the Microtech. As this was my first rotary, I didn't really have a benchmark for what the engine temperatures were supposed to be doing. So with the hand controller, it helped me set that. What the hand controller also showed me is that we had a charging issue. So I got a new alternator on her. It was around about this time that I decided to change the wheels up as well. So I went through a few options with what I had in the garage. And settled on the wheel choice, which was the RPF ones. I wasn't quite convinced that it sorted out the cooling issues. Still had a few more tricks up the sleeve to try, starting with a new water pump, thermostat and a decent radiator flush. This brings us up to about January 2019. Old mate Seamus and I did some last minute work ahead of the next Rotary Reunion event where we learnt that the TPS had failed. With not enough time left to sort the TPS issues out, we dropped the car off at Bennett Chairs and took the FD to Reunion instead. After getting an expert to look up the car, it was a no-brainer to get the engine pulled for inspection. We had high hopes that it was just a water seal. But unfortunately, it wasn't the best of news. So I'll say, I need to take a seat, do I? Yeah, need to take a seat. So a list of parts were drawn up and the orders got underway. At the end of the video, there's a full spec list on the engine build. But in a nutshell, we've got two new Series 6 rotors, two new housings, a new plate, and of course the extend street porting using a Mazda Trix template. 
Once all the hardware arrived, the rotating assembly went off the balancing while Ben worked on the porting. Once all the parts were back under one roof, it didn't take Ben long to assemble the engine and get it in the car. So I just got to chairs. Uh, ben gave me a ring to say that the engine's all dropped in. So just dropping off some fluids. Um, we'll get it primed and uh, hopefully some oil pressure. And uh, you never know, we might even start it. Maybe two of them. He's stoked. It started up real easy. Smell nice over there. It starts a lot easier than it used to. Fuck. That's crazy. It needs a little bit of a clean. This is a bit of a shop project. Ben picked up the uh, RX-8 for a bugger all, so um, did what any mechanic would do. Pulled the engine out, gave it a refresh, and uh, bridge ported it while it was all out. So it should be a bit of a laugh when it's all done. So pretty stoked with that. Very surreal seeing it start, especially so easily. So I'm just going to head home now and I'll pop back down to the garage tomorrow with the last bits and pieces and we'll drive it home. So it was a bit of a rush yesterday, um, managed to get down to Cheers and get the FC before he shut up shop for the year. But I'm at home now and I'm just about to take the, uh, take the FC out for a Christmas morning drive.
really good. Um, actually idles quite nicely too for a street port, has a very subtle pulse going on. Uh, very happy, so um, Ben and the guys at Cheers Auto did an awesome job with the rebuild. Uh, the next mission is to uh, find a tuner that will uh, tune the old Microtech. It's uh, proving much harder than, than I thought. We're less than a month away from the next RE Union event and at this stage it doesn't look like the FC is actually going to make it again. I've reached out to a few tuners and no one wants to go near the Microtechs anymore so I'm going to have to put a link in if I want to get anybody to tune it. Believe it or not I've still got those calling issues to sort out. So the engine's either running lean, or there's a block on the radiator, or both. So I need to sort that out before I go anywhere near a track. I'll look at getting a new radiator and radiator fan combo sorted first, and then we'll look at what ECU options we have. But despite that, it's great having the car back home again, and I can chip away at the small items while we look at those bigger ones. So cheers for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Add it up. since getting it home. Oh, look at that mum. Does it fit? Okay, all right.